Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com and today I'm going to teach you how to Travis pick on guitar. Travis picking is a style of finger picking where your thumb alternates between two or three strings while your fingers pluck a simple pattern or even play a melody. And as you saw in the demo at the beginning of this tutorial, it's used in a ton of tunes, you know, from country to folk, blues, pop. You know, you can play melodies with it. You can use it over simple shapes instead of a strumming pattern. Now I designed this lesson in steps because I want it to work for all kinds of learners. So keep that in mind as you go through this lesson. If you get stuck, just go back a couple steps and really work on it until it's comfortable. You know, we're just going to be adding one tiny little extra bit each step. So if you go sequentially, you're pretty much guaranteed to get it. Also, there's a worksheet to accompany this lesson has every exercise and example tabbed out for your convenience. It's laid out in a step by step fashion, just like this lesson. So you can work through these exercises and song snippets at your own pace. That's available on my Patreon page. And there's a link down below for that. You should also take advantage of my free ebook. It's 100% free for all my subscribers. There's a link down below for that as well. Either way, we're going to get started with the basics. We're going to place our fingers on the strings. And when Travis picking, there's it's kind of a hard and fast rule. You know, 99.999% of the time, your thumb is in charge of the three thicker strings. So the E, A, D, and it kind of just goes between a couple of them. And your fingers, they each get one of the thinner strings. Your pinky doesn't really have any part in Travis picking. Your first finger is on the G string. Your middle finger is on the B string and your ring finger is on the high E string. So the bottom three strings with your thumb and then G, B, E with your fingers. So that's step one, you know, just place those three fingers on the strings. And now we're gonna warm up a little bit. I want you to place your thumb on the thickest string. Our fingers are on the top three strings and we're gonna pluck with our thumb and then with our fingers. One, two, one, and we're just getting used to plucking, you know, because you might be snapping the strings a bit. We just want to be nice and gentle. And we just count one, two, one, two, one, two. And you could use this simple pattern on some basic chord shapes, and you could use that in a song right away, you know, instead of a strumming pattern. You know, so we're not Travis picking yet, but the fundamentals are there, you know, and you can already use it to play That Was What I Got by Sublime. And you may have noticed there that my fingers stayed in the same spot, but my thumb was traveling to a different string for each chord. And that's because each chord has a root, and that's the primary note that your thumb is going to pluck when you switch to that chord shape. So we need to build up some muscle memory so our thumb kind of automatically picks the correct string for each shape. And I want to do this the same way we would when learning a song. So let's just pick three chords. You know, first we'll do A, D, and E. So we have our A chord. Our fingers are on the top three strings for all the chord shapes. Our thumb is on the A string because that's the root of the A chord. You know, then we can go to D. Our thumb is on the D string. And we could go to E, the thickest string for our E chord. You know, so we're just using our thumb fingers pattern and woke up this morning onto the rising sun. Three little birds by my doorstep singing sweet songs. And you'll want to learn the roots of the eight basic shapes, C, A, G, E, D, A minor, D minor, E minor. And all of that is written down in the worksheet. And there's a page in my free ebook, which you can see right here, that has all of it written down for you. So don't worry if you can't remember all that. You know, I wouldn't expect you to memorize it that way anyway. 
The best way to remember them is to learn a song that uses a couple shapes, like a two or three chord song, and really nail those shapes. You know, use this simple pattern, follow the roots, and then you move on from there, learn a couple more three chord songs, and you're actually putting it all to use. Anyways, next we're going to learn to pluck the thickest string with our thumb on beat one, like we just were, and then we're going to pluck the D string with our thumb on beat three. And our fingers are playing beats two and four. We'll do that on an E minor chord. So we're going to go one, two, and then on beat three, we're going to pluck the D string. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So our thumb is alternating between a couple different bass notes, and that's the essence of Travis picking. And I want you to focus on your thumb, you know, even just doing the thumb part. Just the thickest string, then the D string. And for E minor, that's the root, and we're going to call this other note our alternate. You know, it's like an alternate bass note. So root, and then alternate on the D string. And then we can go to G, which is the same. Thickest string, and then the D string. And we can go to the C chord, and for the C chord, the root is on A, but the alternate is still on D. Same thing for A minor. A major. I want you to spend a lot of time practicing just the root and alternate with your thumb on a handful of shapes. And if you want something to work towards, This Land Is Your Land by Woody Guthrie. It's a simple three chord song that uses this style. I'll put a link down below and just try to practice along using only your thumb and ignore the fingers completely, you know, just so you can get used to switching chords while your thumb keeps pumping. Also, I have a finger style course, Finger Picking Mastery, that goes from beginner to advanced, teaching you everything you need to be able to play your favorite finger style tunes like Dust in the Wind, Landslide, Blackbird, Fast Car, you know, a whole bunch just like that. And Travis Picking is, it's an intermediate-ish thing, and this course will help you build up to that and go far beyond. So if you'd like a complete start to finish path, starting with stuff way easier than this and going all the way, there's a link to that down below as well. Anyways, we're going to move on to step five. Now that we're comfortable alternating between the bass notes, we can start to incorporate our fingers and make some patterns. First, I want to add a pluck at the very start of the pattern, at the same time that we pluck the root with our thumb. We'll do this on an E minor shape. Our thumb starts on the thickest string. And remember, our fingers are on the top three strings. So we pluck our thumb and index together. And that gives us the E string and the G string, but we can just think of which fingers we're using. You know, thumb and index, and then we just keep going with our thumb. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna add our middle finger to beat three. So, thumb and index together on beat one, and then the thumb hits the alternate bass note and then our thumb and middle together on beat three, and then the alternate bass note. So, thumb and finger, D string, middle finger, D string, index, alternate, middle, alternate. And once you're comfortable with that, we can start to add some offbeat stuff. And this is where it really starts coming together. We're gonna to start with just our thumb, alternating between our bass notes here. You know, and that's where you should always start, nice and slow. That's the foundation of Travis picking. And now, just after beat two, I wanna pluck with our middle finger. So we count one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, Now, let's add our index finger on beat one. So, one and two and three, four. And we're gonna add 
one more now. We're gonna add our index finger just after beat three. One and two and three and. If you're having trouble with that, we can break it down using our thumb as the foundation or the, the guiding point for this whole thing. On one, we have this, and then on two, we have that, where they're separate. So they're together on one, then they're separate on two, and then they're separate on three. And then beat four is just your thumb. You know, so we're, we're using each of our thumb plucks, that's what we're keeping track of, and we're thinking, okay, am I plucking a finger with it or just after it? And that's pretty much it. So I want you to take your time and do that. Think about it in those four chunks, you know, do it at your own pace. And now we're gonna try it super slow, nice and slow on, um, let's do it on a G chord. One, two, three, four. And we're just gonna start by plucking with our thumb. One, two, and then when you're ready, you can add some fingers. So I hope with this as a foundation, you'll be ready to take on a ton of challenging fingerstyle tunes. You know, the stuff I played at the beginning, those chord melodies like Freight Train, they're just patterns like this, but you lift up your fingers a couple times on your chord hand during the patterns and, you know, maybe add a hammer on here or there. And, you know, it's just one little step further. And if you want some lessons on this stuff, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to elaborate on this. But for now, you have your work cut out. You know, I need you to practice this stuff and become comfortable and proficient at Travis picking through the basic shapes with some basic patterns, you know, and let me know when you're ready to move on and we can take the next step together. If you can't wait, I have a finger picking course that starts with the simplest stuff you can finger pick on guitar and it takes it from there just one small step at a time through the intermediate and advanced levels. You know, it's laid out in a much slower pace than this level. I really had to speed things up to, you know, get this down into a single YouTube tutorial. And there's a link down below for that if you're interested. Also, don't forget to download the worksheet from my Patreon page if you'd like something to guide you through every step of this process that we learned today. You know, remember that it's fine to go back a couple steps, you know, start it from the beginning. I wouldn't expect that many students to be able to just cut through this entire lesson in one try. Let me know if you did. I, I, I'll be very impressed. Please leave a comment, you know, if, if you have. I'd love to hear how this is going for you. Um, don't forget to check out my free ebook if you need any help with the very basics. Like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.